Over 300 volunteers and Long Beach City staff conducted the seventh biannual Homeless Count. Working in teams, they canvassed the entire city. But unlike many other cities that only collect demographic data such as age, gender, and race, here in Long Beach, the count is also an opportunity to talk and provide immediate assistance. Our teams are actually comprised of anywhere between three and five members, usually a so social service provider, a community member, and someone who is either homeless or previously homeless. And they're equipped with various uh, information such as our uh, city pocket guide, resources for food programs, and information on the multi-service center so that not only are we collecting information, we're also providing information to link back to services uh, in our city. The last time this count was taken back in 2015, the data showed there was 2,345 homeless individuals, including 255 children living on our streets. When the count was first started back in 2003, that number was much larger. Most significantly, we've seen a tremendous decline in our veteran population, and that's really having to do with the localized effort to end veteran homelessness in our community and the array of services that are being tailored and the active street outreach that's taken place on a daily basis. And so we've been able, from the count in 2013 to the 2015 count, we reduced our veteran street population by 42%. Over the years, the Long Beach Health Department has used the data generated by the biannual count to better understand changing trends and adjust the types of programs and services available in our community. Currently, there are 12 different agencies in the Long Beach Continuum of Care, headed by the Health Department that coordinate permanent housing and the delivery of services to promote well-being and self-sufficiency for our homeless population. All these programs and services are funded by a federal HUD grant. This year we scored 20 points higher than the average across the nation, which is a really big significant push in our scoring because that allows us to leverage and apply for new grants when you have a very high scoring threshold. So we're really proud of the work that our division is doing. We have a fantastic team both on the programmatic side and as well as our administrative team. This year, another innovation was added to the count, one which will speed up the process considerably. This year we piloted an electronic survey, and this is really an, an effort for us to collect the same data we were collecting in paper, but to really test out and see if we can collect real-time data, which will tremendously help us with the tabulation of the information moving forward so that we can collect and analyze the data in a quicker way than we have in previous years. Currently, it takes us nearly three months to tabulate the information. If we could do it digitally, it'll really help us in gathering that information much sooner. To find out more, visit longbeach.gov forward slash health.